to the spider xp farm well making that it took a lot of sand i took many trips to the sand quarry but it just wasn't enough so i had to build this this is an automatic sand maker the design is by jl i take no credit as you can see it's very efficient well, since you heard about it, I'm guessing you want to see the glass tunnel. I'm very proud of this build. And yeah, it took a long time. A lot of flooding involved. I, and yeah, use sand to get rid of the water. I'm going to find a different lighting system for this tunnel. But for now, I'm probably just going to use torches. Alright, as you can see, redstone torches to plow over the track. That is because... Powering them from below is very difficult because this is underwater. Yeah. And uh, these loops go all the way down to the seafloor. I like how they look. Yeah. I use the same basic track design as I did in my um, uh, tunnel to the end portal. I like how it looks. Okay, we are approaching the farm. I'm going to do a different lighting system other than torches, but I have to come up with it. Alright, as you can see, I've cleaned this room up quite a bit. As you can see, the chest set up. We have a little work area. And this is what I'm really proud of. I love this enchanting setup that I made. It's very nice. Yeah, I cleaned this up a bit. 
added glass so you can see the spiders. Same basic redstone. So yeah. The next project is in the in portal room. And I'll see you there. Hey guys. Back again. And uh, here we are on the way to the in portal room. I've done much work in this room. Trust me. It is... And it took me at least two or three hours to clean this room up. But I am very proud of the results. And I hope you guys like it as well. Alright. As you can see. I lined the in portal with lapis. I have plenty of it. So it's not a big deal. Alright. I added another cool feature. I made it look like it goes on forever. But actually it just goes down into the light level. Reaches zero. And then I put obsidian on the bottom to make it look black. So yeah, I like how that turned out. And as you can see, I made a shrine for my egg. Like how that turned out. And of course a bed to sleep in so I can get back here easily. Um, just back to the room, you know. Did a little experimenting with lapis and buttons. Like how that looked. And yeah. Lava lighting. Haven't done that yet. And here we go. I haven't cleaned this up yet. I've just been doing so much cleaning up. I didn't have the inspiration to do it so but yeah I, I made it a little bit easier to get back to the portal but I did however do some cleaning up back at the Enderman XP farm and I added four more floors it turns out I can only have up to 17 I currently have 16 alright guys uh, we are coming up on it I'm very proud of this build glad I made it as you can see it's a bit wider yeah. Alright, the first thing I added was this outer layer so I didn't have to walk into the water every time I came through here. And I made it so the enchanting setup opens from here. Added a few more chests to store ender pearls. And added a melon farm. Because I always forgot food. And now if I forget food, I can always just eat some melons when I'm done XP grinding. Fully automatic. Uh, I semi-automatic, my bad. I like how it turned out. Uh, thanks for watching part 3 of Polar Bear's World. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. A special thanks to DJ Amico for providing the music for this episode. Links to her channel and her site will be in the description. DJ Amico is also known as Amethyst. So, yeah, thank you.